hello hello i am back with another video and today's video i am back at my park again because it's my last days and i wanted to do my last days at my park with some videos that can help you so hopefully you saw the video prior to this when i went around the park and i was jogging and i was uh talking to my higher self getting alignment um, increasing my frequency and today i want to talk about morning how you could do that same or use that same strategy or method of going around the park and getting on the frequency where you attracted money and so first of all i will i do want to say when you want money think about the reason why you want money because everything that you want there's a feeling behind it you're gonna feel a certain way so some people want money like you know to be a millionaire billionaire whatever because they think it will give them freedom so you think about the feeling of being free of freedom to do what you want with your day some people think that that's gonna make them happy well you think about the feeling of happiness because at the present moment in the physical reality you don't have the money but you want to feel like you already have it so you cannot attract anything that you don't already have or you weren't already on the frequency of so if you want it you got to become it is what i'm saying so you've got to become that happiness you got to become that freedom you got to become that sense of well-being you got to become that prosperity you got to become that savings that bond that asset you know that equity um you have to become that which you are wanting so if i was on had that thought of money wanting more i would go around my low track and i would say those things i'm happy i'm free i feel freedom i feel so free i can be anywhere at any place right now i just choose to be here I have so much time on my hands, time to do everything that I want to do. And you milk that, you milk that thought, you milk that conversation with your higher self. But I wanna add to that something that I did that really, really, really helped me even more than just talking to my higher self because keep in mind, that's like reprogramming your thoughts, beautiful thing beautiful sense of momentum that you have going because your thoughts do create your reality hmm. and even doing it while you're about to go to sleep like feeling the freedom and feeling the peace when you on your way to drift off to sleep that imagination that imagination is really God that we all are talking about this is why in the biblical text it says if you don't come to God as a child, you couldn't make it into the kingdom because a child has that imagination since being. A child can wander off. A child can ignore this here physical, go up in their room and turn into a superhero or whatever because they have this great imagination. They'll tell you about their best friend that nobody can see the pony and, and tell you you have to pretend with them because they are caught up into their God state of being. They're caught up into that imagination. They're not worried about this here physical right here like most adults worry and fixate on. So anyway, when you're drifting off to sleep, that is the perfect time to feel that freedom of prosperity, that, that financial gain. And to understand that you have a relationship with money, that it is free flowing, it's coming go, that you, you are a giver and receiver of it. And so that, that way you don't have resistance toward it coming back into your physical reality. But here's another thing that I add to it. <sighs> Something that I did one week and that first week I found money just so many ways that money was coming to me in the physical reality what I did was I had just when I first started this I had just cashed a check I think the check was maybe about sixteen hundred dollars and I had all one hundred dollar bills 
And because at that time, I wanted to attract more money in my physical reality, I counted those $1,600 bills one by one. And it just started feeling good to me because it was already my money that I was counting and I was imagining and playing, playing, a, uh, playing like or uh, using my imagination to be in a bank, like pretending that the bank teller was counting this money to me. Cause actually in my past, I used to be a bank teller, right? But I was playing like I was a customer, right? And the bank teller was cashing my check. And I just love the way that, you know, the tellers, you know, flick the, the dollar bills, the hundred dollar bills to you when, you you know, they're counting it to you. And so I was just doing it, just playing around with it as if, you know, I'm the customer. But I kept going. I kept counting. And before you know it, I was just recycling the money. Like, I want to show you. So... I don't know how much this is, but I did like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, this is $1,300 right here, right? So, but when I got to the end, when I got to 13, I started back over and put the money back in my hand. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 2600 dollars And I kept going, I kept going, I kept going. And then... When I would pay, I would pay attention to, you know, the face of the money while I was counting. I was paying attention to the feeling of the bank teller counting this money to me. Oh, I have $2,600. And, and I would keep going and I would flip it over to the back. Then I would pay attention to the back of the money. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, $3,900. And I would, I would say that number out loud. I did this here <laughs> for three days. So every day I was roughly counting about $400,000, like, right? And so when I got to, you know, big big numbers, like, you know, $106,000, I'll just sit there and I'll just milk it, $500,000. And I'll keep on counting, I'll keep on flipping the money over and over and over and over again recycling it back in my hand tricking my mind because i'm counting i'm feeling i'm using my imagination i'm feeling good keep on counting it don't matter that i'm just counting the same dollars here in my hand i kept on going with it until i got to a million dollars and so this this was the just me just doing something different right because I had the, you know, I had just cashed a little $1,600 check. And after I got to that million dollars, and because it was my money, and I counted that million, one million dollars, and I just held that money in my hand, and I milked the feeling of what it felt like to be a millionaire what it felt like to feel happiness, to feel the freedom, to feel the wealth, the well-being, or whatever the feeling, underlining feeling it is, beyond, you know, that you have for having money in your possession, whatever that feeling is, but for me, it just felt, it just felt like accomplishment. It made me, it made me feel proud of me. It, it felt like, hmm security you know it felt like freedom too it felt like peace it felt like joy they had a lot of emotions behind it so i milked those emotions i milked those feelings and i held on to those feelings then because we do create on when we have positive thoughts and negative thoughts i also use my negative thoughts to help me too so in the daytime i would say <laughs> I feel so tired of counting this money. There's just money all over the place. I got I just can't get away from money. <laughs> That's what I, I did. 
my fingers hurt from count money. That's just just money, just money, just everywhere. You know how people just be complaining and they talk about, man, I was just trying to make it to Friday. And that's all that they do. They only make it to then. Well, I was just complaining, so to speak, saying, man, money just just everywhere. Look at this. Huh? Hey, guess what? I realize that it helped me manifest. <laughs> I use my negative thoughts or my complaining thoughts, so to speak, along with the imagination, along with the counting of the money and along with the money being in my possession and knowing already that the money was mine. That week I found money. I found money. I was giving money, unexpected checks, and I'm not talking about little money. <laughs> mm -mm. I ain't talking about little money. And so, I wanted to share that with you all, and it is so, I feel, important that we find a way to make or have a healthy relationship with money before you even get to this place. Because, okay, I say this has to be your money, so, so I wouldn't do this with borrowed money. I wouldn't count nobody else's money because now I don't have that possession of, of, of feeling in the physical reality that is mine. I wouldn't do it that way. I wouldn't do this if I was maybe getting my lights turned out and I was like desperate. I wouldn't be I wouldn't do this that at that frequency. I will first in my mind try to get that relationship, try to re ease some of that resistance by imagining first is what I'm saying here. And along my journey, <laughs> if you don't even have money, I'll tell you where I start off, started off with. In my journey, I used to live paycheck to paycheck years ago when I was a young mother. And I made a lot of sacrifices like most mothers do with their children. You know, I make sure that they had everything that they needed from the toys they needed, the clothes they needed, you know, the happiness they needed. And I didn't know nothing about no consciousness and manifesting and creating. But I, as a mother, would find joy, would find uh, freedom, would find peace in knowing that my children had. It wasn't about me. I made the sacrifices so that they could have. And so I was picking up those feelings unbeknownst to them, making me feel good just by them feeling good, just by them feeling wealthy, by them feeling feeling freedom, by them feeling happy. So with that being said, I already had a relationship with money because I knew that my children was okay as far as money was concerned because they had me. So if I was to tell this to anybody else, I would say milk that feeling. That even though you making sacrifices for you, when you see them in their joyful place for the things that you're doing for them, milk that feeling. So that way you don't have a rough relationship with money in your journey. Now all is mental. All is mental. Now you do what you want to do with your mind, your programming, and how you want to manifest your money. I just wanted to share you, share with you my take on it. Because money is energy, and as long as your energy is flowing in that area of abundance, you you gonna have abundance. Abundance is gonna be everywhere. People are gonna be trying to give you money. No, no, no. Keep it. Keep it. Don't worry about it. You could, you could be, I could be like trying to give somebody a tip. No, no, no. I, I want to tip them. <laughs> because that's showing that there is no resistance there. Somebody, some, I could, I don't know, maybe somebody could take $10 from me, so to speak, which, but at the same time, they taking but somebody over here trying to give me 50. you know it's just when you don't have that resistance with it it's like a friend a good friend that you may be you don't talk to them every day but you know that there's a relationship there you know they ain't going nowhere you know that there's an even exchange give take so i wanted to share that with you all because um 
I wanted to be able to help somebody in their journey with their relationship with money. That's what I did. And after I started doing that, more came and more will keep on coming <laughs> because that's the relationship that I have with it. In every area of your life, it's about relationships, whether it's a financial relationship, career relationship, intimate relationships, or relationships with your higher self. It's all about energy in that relationship. So I'm about to go jog on the park. It's a beautiful day. I feel freedom. I feel riches. I feel abundance. I feel connected to the whole. I feel like money, no money. <laughs> and I love this park so much. Man, I love this park. Let me go create my little last memories at my little local park, y'all. Y'all have a good day. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. <laughs>